Tired. I haven't been sleeping. I'm trying to get work done before this big trip. It's a family trip, which means the parents, uh, my brother, his girlfriend, and then we're all meeting up with my girlfriend uh, in Tokyo. So we're going to be in Japan for a bit. So, what movies did you watch? I watched Creed 2. I actually teared up at. Star Wars Oh, okay, yeah, I saw you were sitting down now. That hit me. Did I hit you? Okay. Uh, let me show you what I watched all the time. <laughs> so, that's how I'm going to go ahead and introduce this video. I am officially in Tokyo, Japan, and all of the videos and photos you're seeing in this video are taken with the Red Magic 3. I keep forgetting, this is Tokyo Narita? Haneda. Haneda, okay. I never remember which one. Oh, and by the way, just uh, some quick thoughts on the camera. Even though I was really only using it on the flight, uh, I already like that the front-facing camera is just wide enough for these kinds of shots. Uh, and also, the interface of the camera allows for some easy locking of the focus and the exposure. Uh, just a long press and a short vibration comes up, it doesn't take long, and it's already locked. And then you can drag the focal point, uh, the focus point, and you can drag the exposure point, that way you can uh, cater the shot. to do okay so since the red magic 3 is not necessarily a high-end camera phone it's more of a gaming phone uh, i'm going to still do this real world camera test using this phone but it's not going to be quite so conventional it's not like i'm going to rely on this phone at the different uh touristy areas and all of the big scenic areas here in tokyo i will take some pictures with it that'll go in my full review but for today it's about my travel day to get here this is my vacation after all so i'm going to shoot this the way that i want to and what i want to do next is uh a bit of a mukbang. Mm, this is right outside our rooms. We can we can have highball already. One thing I am a little bit worried about is that it's raining outside. I'm pretty sure this phone is not water resistant. After all, there's a fan and there's a lot of electronics running and there are a lot of openings uh, to dissipate the heat. So, all right, explain to me this real quick. Umbrella, pretzel. So, people here are so nice and so caring and considerate that you don't even need to rent it, you just grab it and go. Are, yep, and that's the one, the egg salad. Is it right? Yep. That's $2.70. And these are my oh, onigiri. onigiri. My what onigiri. That that? These are rice balls. Rice balls. With stuff inside. Do I, do I like that, babe? Do you think I'll like it? Well, look, that one has egg. This one has salmon. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of losing my mind right now. Good morning. It is the morning after the mukbang. And as you can probably imagine, uh, we ate so much that, well, most of the group fall, fell asleep. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there wasn't a whole lot to film after that because we stayed in, we got some work done, uh, and I edited the mukbang, so you can look forward to that here on my channel. But anyway, it is morning now, a little bit of a late start, but we're gonna be heading out to Shibuya Crossing. So um, I'm, gonna I'm gonna get more pictures and videos using this, a little bit more to round out this video. It's not the most substantial or the prettiest real world camera test, but then again, this camera doesn't give you a whole lot of options when it comes to uh, shooting things. Like I still can't find a slow motion mode. <music> Again, 
not too many options on this camera uh, to capture this in a very effective manner. So that's the reason why I have all of these cameras on me. So it is my vacation. I reserve the right to use whatever cameras I want. <laughs> I found Joshua Vergara <laughs> in Shibuya. Yeah, what tell, were the chances? Tell them, tell them uh, where to find you, like you know, your name and your social handles. Hi, Let's give you a shout okay, out. Okay, I'm Mickey Bautista. You can find me in underscore Mickey13 in Twitter and Mickey Bautista in Facebook. Nice, nice. Thank you. Uh, he's here for, on vacation for a few yeah. days. Uh, what do you do back in, where, where, where are you based out of that back in Philippines? Uh, I'm from uh, Las Vegas in uh, Metro Manila area. Oh, yes. Metro Manila. Okay. Yeah. Who knew I could be so excited about crossing the damn street? Shibuya Crossing off the list. It was actually a really good idea for me to bring this camera because um, you don't really get a zoom or a wide angle on this so I have a lot of cameras on me right now to be able to properly document what is going on. Uh, so the 50 millimeter lens that I have on here is great for getting some, uh, some length and then you have the wide angle cameras which I'm obviously going to be using quite a lot as well especially the 360 camera. Uh, but yeah, uh, you don't get too many options on here, but I gotta say, the 48 megapixel sensor here on the Red Magic 3 is a wonderful addition that just needs a little bit of extra work in the camera app to add in more features. So she has slow motion mode, which if it's on there and I can't find it, then I'm an idiot. But yeah, I'm just using the, uh, the, the sensor or rather the camera just the way that it is. And it's doing a pretty great job. machines are so reliable, um, especially if you have the tap card, the Suica card, which I have in my wallet uh, kind of tucked away, I can easily just tap the, uh, the contact area. Easy place to get some coffee, some water, some tea. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to get some tea. Yeah, there's tea, but I'm going to, it's early enough that I can have the coffee without feeling too bad. So my card's in here. There you go. Then you hit the button and you confirm by tapping one more time. These vending machines are quite literally everywhere in the city, so it's really easy to just grab a drink. All right, cool. It's also kind of warm out. Uh, the humidity kind of rose while we were walking around, so it's time to sit down, have a nice cold drink, and some takoyaki. Alright, that will do it for my first vlog from Tokyo, my first ever 24 hours in the land of the rising sun. I was so excited to be there. Uh, and the Red Magic 3 actually stayed in my pocket for further days after this, mainly because it was a good stills camera. That's the main takeaway here. As you can already tell in this video, there was a severe lack of stabilization. I was recording in mainly 4K 30 frames per second, and as you saw, even jittery hands were making the content a little bit hard to watch. The app itself allows for a little bit of control over the auto exposure and the auto focus. You could lock those two things down, but there is also a lack of modes, and of course, you only get that one sensor on the back. Again, that Sony IMX 48 megapixel sensor is great for stills. It's not the best for video, as Red Magic haven't really tuned it for really great vlogging material, but I still relied on this camera for some really good photos later on during my trip. So no, this is not going to be the most full featured camera, but I applaud Nubia for putting this sensor on the Red Magic 3 so that it is definitely more than just a gaming phone with a lot of cooling and an actual fan inside. Let's put it this way, gamers out there, if you do want to be able to take some good photos even in low light situations from time to time, you can actually rely on the camera of your gaming phone purchase. No gaming phone is able to boast that, at least not yet. So the Red Magic 3 ticks a lot of boxes, especially ones that you wouldn't expect a gaming phone to tick. 
Don't forget to check out my next vlog, which should be coming out tomorrow, and the mukbang that I did uh, tease earlier in this video. That should be coming out pretty soon as well. I have plenty of content coming out over the coming days, so make sure you subscribe to this channel, jump into the comment sections, let me know what you think of the Red Magic 3, and from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it on this one. Once again, thank you again, and I will remind you to enjoy your tea, everybody. I can't read this.